Right, welcome back to Online Darts, everyone. We're here at the Orbit in London for the Target launch, and Jackpot is here. Adrian. Hello. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. All good, thank you. We've missed you. I know, I know. I've uh, been having a little bit of a break, so. Yeah. Look, this is, this, uh, when I told everyone I was coming here, everyone was like, is Adrian coming? Are you going to speak to Adrian? Uh, your, your fan base is, is unrivaled. But, but first of all, how are you away from everything? Are you in a good place? I'm, I'm good, mate, yeah. Like I say, I'm, um, I'm trying to you know, get a bit fitter. Uh, lost, a, lost a few pounds, so, uh, you know, that's what I'm concentrating on at the minute, really. No, no thoughts of coming back as yet, but as soon as uh, you know, start missing it, and then things might, you know, change. We'll, we'll come on to that in a second. But first of all, how did you get to the situation where you were like, "I'm done. I need to walk away from the professional game"? Just uh, in general, really. I got my wife doing very well. Uh, you know, a lot of appointments with her, um, and it just got to a stage where my mum wasn't at the doors. I had him for you know a couple of years, you know. So it was, I was like, "No, something's got to change here. Uh, I need, I need a, a break and get me." Um, get myself really right again, mentally right, and then obviously start looking to the future after that. Was that a hard decision to come to? Yeah, it wasn't made, you know, it wasn't just made like a rash decision. I'd, I'd obviously thought about it, or I'd talked to my wife about it, um, and we went from there really, and she said, listen, you, you know, you've got to do what you've got to do, and, uh, and that's, 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 the, that's where I come with. Yeah. How about the PDC when you communicated to them that you wanted some, some time out? Um, I, I think, well, I mean, I, well, I, I don't know if they were shocked or what really. Um, but I think they knew obviously that I needed a break. I think, um, like I said, mentally I wasn't in the right space, so I, I knew I needed to just take a little break from it. Do we think we'll see you again in 2023, or are you writing well, off like this Like I said, I, I don't know yet, mate. I, I haven't even thought about that yet. I might come back, I might just one week just book into a pro tour or, or, or not. I, I don't know yet, I really couldn't see. I'm, I'm going to throw worst case scenario yes. at, at you here. That you don't play this year, and you get to next year, and you go, I'll tell you what, I don't want it. And you end up losing your card. It's card yeah. is, is, that, is that ever a worry for you? Or anything no, like no, of course not. I think um, if, it, you know, if it really knuckled down, if if, if say I didn't go back, for instance, if I really knuckled down on the practice board, I think yeah, there's a good possibility I'll get it back with the experience I've got and everything else. I think, yeah. Is that something that you'd be prepared to do? Is to go to Q School and get yeah, it back if, if, if you need if to? Didn't to come back. Yeah, like to. I said, if, you know, if, if obviously I didn't turn up next year, um, yeah, I do. You know, I do think that. Yeah. I remember speaking to Raymond on the position that, that he found himself in, and I guess it's similar to you in a way that when you're always defending money at every tournament and you go into things going, oh, I don't know if I fancy it, or the pressure yeah. of defending this. Sometimes is a clean slate starting from scratch the best possibility. Well, uh, looking at Ray, I think he's, he's done really well. Uh, you know, since he had the, the break, it's a couple of years off. I think he, you know, he come back, and I think he was in a better place, a better headspace as well. So, uh, you know, if it works for him, you know, he can he can obviously take something from that. When you were playing, obviously yeah. the band last year, did the calendar get too much for, for players? Was, th- it, was, was it too busy? Like, yeah, I mean, I, I think everybody, time. you know, everybody. Um, every, Everybody says that. If you ask any of the players, I think the, the calendar is, you know, it's an hectic, you know, it is. It's, it's literally five days a week, out, you know, and that's it's, it's full on. And I think we got to a stage as well where you think to yourself sometimes, all right, okay, I've lost this week. You know, in two or three days, I'm, I'm back. I'm back again for another three or four days. So I kind of lost the buzz, I think, as well. I think you kind of lost the buzz. Uh, and I started, you know, falling out of love with it a bit. On the plus side, what's it been like spending all this time at home with your family? But that's a magical oh, experience. Yeah, I'm you haven't had. Now give me brains out. <laughs> 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 no, um, it's been great. You know what I mean? Seeing the kids and that. Uh, it's, it's been fun. I've loved it. Yeah. Going forward. <laughs> yeah. Can you, as long as you get the love back, can yes. you find that Adrian Lewis elite level top gear again? Is it still there within I you? I think you like, when I've been, you know, when, when I've had the old chuck, uh, you know, I've done a couple. Of exhibitions I've been playing really well um, so it's not like you know it's just disappears I think it's just one of those things where you, you need practice for maintaining your consistency I think that, that's the key part if you, if you don't practice your consistency is up and down and I think like, as soon as you start you know solidly pulling in the three four or five hours a day and then that's when you start building your consistency back up the stock's changed a little bit, and what I mean by that is I remember speaking to Gary, yeah. and he said that he didn't enjoy the change, that, and he mentioned you specifically, he said oh, like, right. the characters like Adrian aren't yeah. around and like, used to share a table and stuff like that, and he said they're all too serious now, with their, with their <laughs> earpods on and stuff like that. Is that something that you find I mean, as well? I mean, yeah, of course, I mean uh, it's a big money business, and uh, you know, it's, 
it is time you can like say me and Gary you know we go back a long time and uh, Whitey and Mark Smith and everybody on the team yeah I mean obviously I do miss that side of it having the banter with the lads but uh, as a whole I'm not missing it at all but I, I do feel you know it's, um, it, it's it's moving in the right direction towards us and, and it's, it's, it's great have you been down to Gary's fishing lakes yet? I haven't I, I, I was going to go uh, <laughs> but and then I bottled out <laughs> <laughs> Adrian, uh, it's just great to see you. One smiling and just good to have you back around, nice mate. Nice one to you as well. Top one, mate. Thank you. Nice one, Paul.